You want to hurt me because you're hurt. You want me weak because you're weak. Someone cuts something out of you and you feel the hole every day. I am the word of justice, the scalding light. I am purity. Supergirl, all new episode Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be talking about the trailer that you just watched for Episode 13, so this is actually going to be the last episode of Supergirl until it comes back after its 9 week break in April. So we've got a long time to wait, but I'm going to be doing lots of bonus videos because I know all of you Supergirl fans want me to do that, and loads of you were messaging throughout Christmas. You were really liking the videos, and I'm just so happy that you guys are actually actually giving me that feedback and I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing the same. I'll continually make Supergirl videos until Supergirl returns for episode 14. So please be sure to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year and in the next few weeks while Supergirl is off. So we're going to be breaking this trailer down shot by shot. So in the first shot we get to see a residential home and it's a bungalow and this is where Julia actually lives because we know at the end of last episode Kara and the DEO they all found out that Julia was actually a well killer and that was due to Kara having those dreams. I'll leave a link in the description below to me talking about those dreams. But we can see the DEO SWAT team are actually breaching into this house considering that there's potentially a world killer in there and we see Supergirl and obviously Alex and Jean are there as well but we cut to a few different shots and this is repeated or it's just an extended version of the shot and the camera slowly pans into Kara and if you didn't know in film that's a trope that's used to actually portray emotion so this scene is going to be purity actually cutting into Kara's emotions and I really like how slowed down this trailer is that it's not really really fast and really impactful it's just slow and it gets the message of what going to be happening and it actually makes me even more excited than a quick cut trailer with lots of different scenes in so the voiceover says you want to hurt me because you're hurt and then it goes on to say you want me weak because you're weak someone cut something out of you and you feel the hole every day and then she later says I am purity so we know she's purity that's been revealed a while ago but with the line saying someone cut something out of you and you feel the hole every day it could apply to Kara it could apply to Alex but in the shot that actually overlays from that you can't see it on the screen now but if you go back and look at the trailer and pause it on that shot you can see that the hair's a bit darker so I'm presuming it's Alex and it's referring to Maggie because Maggie was cut out of her life and she feels that hole and that burden that she's not there and what's she going to do with her life and that's been heavily emphasized upon since their breakup so I'm guessing it's her and we know in this episode Kara and Alex are going to be going along different ways as to interrogating the world killer and my theory is that Kara is approaching it very humanely like not torturing not interrogating in a Batman-esque way but I feel like Alex is going to be the one that's going to be interrogating with more edge and more brutality even if she doesn't just go in and beat her up because she will probably die by purity because she's a world killer of course but in the next shot we get to see a prison breakout and this is purity breaking out of her prison and she's using the ability that we later see in the trailer as she screams a bit like black canary and black siren so it seems like all these world killers have different powers and i'm very excited that they're not just having the same basic powers that they're differentiating these people and this shot looks really really nice and she goes flying across the air and in a later shot we see Supergirl smack against the wall and she looks like she's knocked out so it was a pretty heavy blow but after the breakout obviously in the next shot we get to see her inside a lab and this is repeated later as when she's doing that screaming again we get to see a white male and he's got brown hair so it's probably either Win or Monel and just by the way he's dressing up I'm in inferring that it's probably win but we have to wait and see as to what's going on there but she breaks out of the DEO so moving on to the next shot we see purity and it's a nice close-up and like I said before with with the close-up shots it really portrays emotions and you feel what the other characters actually feeling in that instant but the next shot is a different shot and it's a side profile shot of Kara and she's obviously talking to Purity inside there. And that's definitely before 
purity breaks out but this is again going back to the first shot so we get a pretty awesome shot but if you guys look in the bottom corner you can see Monel and he's doing a superhero landing although it is a very goofy superhero landing it's a very strange landing and you know it's interesting but moving on to the next shot inside the house this is inside Julia's house we see John and he's being knocked back by that sonic cry or whatever that is actually blaring out of her mouth because it's very similar to Black Sun and Black Canary so we're presuming it's a sonic cry of some sort but the next shot is Kara actually breaching into Julia's house and they're doing it with such force obviously they have the SWAT team from the DEO there so they're suspecting this is a world killer so they're not taking any chances but the next shot is part of the breach inside the DEO she tries to get out and she's fighting some of the agents and she's going to try and get out and I'm guessing this is the moment where she actually escapes the building but moving back and this is something that we've seen in some of the recent photos that were actually released and a similar shot was actually shown in that and it's of Alex holding her alien gun that she's kept for an awful long time and she's in the train station actually facing off against purity because we know that from the actual photos that were released a while ago but moving back so we're inside the house again and this is before Jean's been knocked back because I think that's Jean in the distance behind Kara's freeze breath next to her we see Monel in his superhero suit and it seems like her powers have been triggered here, that being purity, so they're actually fighting against her. But after this, Supergirl's using her heat vision and I'm presuming this is underground considering there is some billboards behind and there's some peculiar lighting that where you wouldn't really see anywhere else. But again, moving back to that, one of the final shots of the trailer is Julia and she's smirking, she's doing the evil smirk, that's really, really cool. So this is not actually Julia. If you guys realize, every time she turns into purity, her eyes actually change and that's just a way for us to differentiate actually what character is in control at this moment and this is back inside the DEO but one of the final shots the second to last shot of the trailer we see her back inside the DEO and obviously this trailer's just been cut all around so it's all from different parts of the episode it's not chronologically put together but moving back and this is the final shot of the trailer we see Kara and she's in fear you can see by the emotions and there is some debris behind her and from the look of the floor it seems like she's in the train station I'm really looking forward to this episode I feel like this episode is going to be a very good one a big step up from last episode so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make us strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shark creep.